I will share with you three different sites that I use to find out UX design inspiration that is different than Behance or Dribbble so that you can improve as a UX designer faster. Now, the main problem I have with Dribble or Behance is that many of the projects that get showcased in these platforms are usually created by designers who are doing side projects. It's for personal side projects that does not have real life constraints attached to them, which is why in most designs you have some accessibility problems where the background contrast is not good enough that it makes it very hard to read. All of these constraints are missing and what I found is because I am collecting these as an inspiration for an actual real world project that I'm going to do, I pick up bad habits. Well, how do we pick up good habits? Use sites where actual projects that are done by professional designers that are published by actual companies so that you don't pick up as many bad habits because all these designs are vetted by other senior or direct level designers, which is exactly what these three sites have in common. If you are designing websites, the first site I would suggest for you to look at is Web Awards. They host thousands and thousands of websites all over the world and you can also use the search filter in their platform by actually searching by color so that you can actually search for blue, red, yellow, orange or you can also use it by the type of branding. You might want to check for let's say portfolios that are professional, funny, friendly, quirky and they will actually let you use these search terms so it is very good to actually get an inspiration for a web design project that you might have. If you are not designing websites but you are designing mobile applications, ScreenLane is a great platform that hosts thousands of mobile application UI patterns for you. This platform also lets you search by four distinct categories. The first one is that you can search by screen type, whether the screen you are designing is a sign up or a login screen. The second is you can actually search by specific UI design elements such as filters or let's say drop downs. Third, you can search by the category of the app that it belongs to, whether it is fitness or productivity. And the last one is you can search by the product name, let's say you are looking for Asana or let's say Canva. Now, if you are not doing any kind of web design or mobile design, but you are looking for a web application, what you can use is DesignWall. It is a great site that you can actually search for web application patterns. What you can do is you are going to go and search for a, let's say a particular UI design element. You can actually pick in the results the filter, which is the web applications, and then you can browse through the ones that you want to look for inspiration. Thanks so much for watching this video and if you have the inspiration ready for your next project but you don't understand how the UI design process works, click on this video to learn next.